And for our first story, we're going to talk about California. Dun, 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 dun. That I'm going back to Cali, some other rap song I can't remember. California introduces the right to disconnect bill that would allow employees to possibly relax in, in current year. What? Possibly relax. This story is over at Engadget.com. They got the details. You can go check it out. I'll put the link in the show description. It follows the lead of countries like France and Spain who pass similar legislation. Hmm. There's little regulation in the United States to prevent employees, employers, from forcing workers to be at their desk or on call at all hours, but that soon might change. That's definitely something I was a part of in the workforce. They would give you a pager and it was a anchor. It was a giant beacon. It was a, a chain, a ball and chain. If they gave you a pager, I'm dating myself. Yes, I am dating myself. They gave you a pager. It wasn't even a phone. It wasn't, it, it wasn't something else. It was a pager. And it went beep, 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 beep. And when you heard that beep on a Saturday night, you just groaned. Oh, oh, pretty much was what, what happened. But then it slowly progressed to being on call on the phone, being on call email. And then they got laptops. And all of a sudden you could check your email at home. Pretty soon, everybody was already working from home and the office in current year. So California State Assemblyman Matt Haney has introduced AB 2751, a right to disconnect proposition. It's kind of sad we're here, man. It really, if, you, if you just take a step back and just go, how, how did we get here? Uh, it says the bill is in its early stages, but if passed, would make every California employer lay out exactly where the person's hours are and ensure they aren't required to respond to work-related communications while off the clock. <laughs> How did we get here? Exceptions would exist for emergencies, and they, they got to watch that. Because people are going to play into that exception clause like crazy. The Department of Labor would monitor adherence and fine companies a minimum of $100 for wrongdoing. Got to make that higher. Whether that's forcing employees to be on Zoom, their inbox, answering texts, or monitoring Slack when they're not getting paid to do so. $100 is a slap in the face. They really got to, they got to increase that. That's got to be 1000 minimum. Or companies, they really got to go take it serious. If the emergency clauses and exception clauses and the fine is $100, they're not going to take it serious and they're just going to keep doing what they're doing. HR is going to guilt people into not reporting this stuff or they're not going to get a raise. They're not going to get promoted. They're not a team player. You know how they gaslight you in these companies. So, yeah, they got to make this bigger. Already, the bill is going to fall flat if this is a minimum of $100. It needs to be a minimum of 1000 maybe even more. To make these companies take it seriously. In 2017, France became the first nation to implement a right to disconnect, followed by Argentina, Ireland, Mexico, and Spain. So AB 2751, already I can see a problem with it, but they definitely are going in the right direction because being with that ball and chain, that leash, that everything, being on call all the time, ain't it. I don't care if you're getting paid salary or not. Listen, you off the clock, you off the clock. All right, when you go home, you decompress. Now, there is emergencies, especially if you work in production environments and you're on call, that kind of stuff. There's emergencies, but we all know that companies, they take advantage of that. And they're like, did you get my email? Like, no. Why didn't you respond? Okay, when did you send the email? Last night at 2 a.m. It's 8 a.m. today. What do you expect? You know, so they just expect you to always be on call no matter what time or day it is for stupid stuff. That's, that's what we've gotten to. And I think that's why, that's one of the motivators behind this bill is because things are being abused. Check it out over on Engadget.com. Oh, they got the details over there about California introducing the right to disconnect bill that needs to be improved from $100 to a lot higher than that. Check it out.